Hey Pisces, I um, I don't really know what to say about your reading, okay? This is the weirdest reading. <laughs> I asked for a singles love reading because that's what I'm doing right now. Singles love. I don't see it in here right now. Like, this is all about money and possibly business, but mostly like there's a family thing going on. So I'm thinking you guys just needed this message enough to where my, uh, my intentions were not um, given credence. I, I see quite a few things in here as far as working and money. So I'll try to make uh, each story stand out, okay? First, you got the Ten of Pentacles upright. Now, when I first saw this, I thought, you know, it was going to be a love reading. So I was like, okay, you know, happy relationship, contentment, one that la lasts and goes a distance. But this is mostly a family card. Um, for some of you out there, this is about retirement. You know, you really want to retire. Or it could just be about somebody who's worked really hard all their lives, and now they're on in years and they want to you know give money to their family um, also this could be an inheritance okay and for those of you it may be love just you know introducing your bow to your new family I mean to your family <laughs> like you're not worried about money or somebody's not Yeah, it's just mostly about money. To clarify that, because first I just had these six cards, and I had to pull some clarifiers just to make sure if it was about love or not. Got King of Cups in reverse. So, um, combined with death, this talks about possessions. Okay, so here again I see money and inheritance. So, I see possession here. And it could just be that the person who is retiring or the person who's given an inheritance, um, whatever happened with that, somebody's upset with what happened with this inheritance. Like, uh, there's arguing going on. Nobody's being uh, very diplomatic. So I think there could be some family squabbles about an inheritance. Um, kind of like the uh, prodigal son of that story. And some of you, I think you just want to retire. So there's two different things here. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's like it's not a peaceful time. So I think somebody could have passed away previously and they left an inheritance. And so everybody's just fighting over it. Like nobody's neutral. Um... Issues can't be solved easily. There's no balance. People are betraying people. People are being dishonest and you know, causing scandals, and then there's injustice. So if a person did die, it could be around some kind of a scandal. Or once they died, from what I see here, there was a family secret that was revealed, and it caused a scandal. So this could be representative of the person who passed and left an inheritance, and so they there's some kind of scandal that came out when they when they passed. And this would so go with your other readings, you guys. Um, talking about all the the death and the uh, darkness and all that. Yeah, just a lot of stuff going on. Then we got three cards in a row, which bother me so I want to just bring that up we have the chariot ten of swords and death um, which to me just speaks car accident okay so somebody could have passed in a car accident but it's already happened there could be an impending one but you never know but underneath that to clarify it was the wheel of fortune in reverse so it's just talking about bad luck um, at least that's what I see for it Also, like the end of an old way of life. 
So perhaps before, you know, somebody left you an inheritance and now it's going to change the way you live your life. Before you were working really hard, you retired and it's going to change the way you live your life. Uh, for instance, with the chariot, it could be somebody who stopped in their tracks. It could be somebody who stopped dead in their tracks by an auto accident. Or somebody who's just not, they're like no longer in the rat race, they're leaving it. Okay, as far as work goes. You know, this tells me there's an end. Um, so there's an end to working for those of you who are retiring. And then again, you have an end to an old way of life. For some people, you could feel you've been betrayed by a dark secret that comes out in the family. It could be somebody left an inheritance and you only left it to one person. And so there's all kinds of squabbles going on. Basically, it's just, you know, it's, it's been a time of bad luck and things are really out of control. Just like all the devils and monsters are riding up, rising up, all the secrets are coming out. Um, you know, when people die, like here with the Ten of Pentacles, I see somebody was a rock in the family. And I've experienced it in my own family. When somebody dies, like the rock of the family, the family disintegrates. Like they all just break up into little sectors. And so I see that with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. But they're only just fighting about that. I think they're fighting about money, too, because this reading has a lot of pentacles in it. We only have two, three water signs. Chariot, King of Cups reversed, and then later on, Queen of Cups upright. I think you're probably going to be the Queen of Cups or the King of Cups in reverse. Also, for some reason, this King of Cups can be you, Pisces. Because it seems as if... If you're in reverse, you're not yourself, or you're not who you thought you were. Do you get what I'm saying? If there was a family secret that was revealed, perhaps somebody left you the money, and like maybe you're not really blood-related. And so everybody else who is blood-related who didn't get money, or didn't get as much, are very upset with you. And it could be also, you know, when this person died, however they died, you're just very, very upset about it, you know? It's very tragic and bitter. <clears throat> Alright, moving on to death. You know, there's some kind of intense change and transformation going on. It also talks about corruption. So again, you know, something may have been corrupted, whether it's a car, um, a family, but basically something intensely changed could have been from a death um, but something changed a lot somebody could be changing jobs as well like you were on a certain career path and then you stopped because um, there was some kind of a betrayal but you're getting over it but you're still dealing with the effects and then you have like a new job but this could also be like a new way of life, okay? Just a transformation. You had an old way of life, and now it's ending. You know, you retired. You got out of the rat race. You know, you were immobilized. Now you're not. And now you're just going on with a new way of life, for those of you who are retiring. But yeah, I see something... Something, some truth is revealed here. But it's going to help people gain character. And then immediately after that, we get another change card about ending a way of life. We got the Wheel of Fortune upright. So when I got this Wheel of Fortune in reverse as a clarifier for those, I thought, okay, so we have a really unlikely time, and then bam, lucky time. Okay. So again, you're going to have this new way of life, but you're going to have to go through something really terrible. An unlucky time. Again, you know, if you're suffering the effects of somebody having passed, even though you got an inheritance, 
It's still unlucky. You still suffer. But then, you know, you're going to go through this transformation because... It's, um, the Wheel of Fortune is also, like, a metaphor for life. You know, like, we're down sometimes, we're up sometimes. You know, we die, we live, we're born. So here, there's some kind of a change going on where something dies. And then almost immediately after, even in conjunction with the death card, something new is born. Also, with, with death, I see an inheritance. So we have two inheritance cards. Ten of Pentacles and death. And it could be, you know, with this Ten of Swords, not only is there, like, a family secret, a dark family secret, you know, we got some dark stuff. We got the King of Cups, Wheel of Fortune in reverse, death, Ten of Swords in reverse. We got darkness here. So, it's, like I said, it's a dark time, you guys. Um... And with Major Arcana, well, you have Major Arcanas all the way through. So I'm thinking this stuff is current or in the past. Like the first Major Arcana you get is a Chariot. Then it was Death. Then it was the Wheel of Fortune Upright. Um, then another card, which you don't see yet. Then we get the Wheel of Fortune again, and that's it. But, you know, with this Ten of Swords, you could just be let down by your family by how awful they're acting, you know. Or if you found out, you know, you were really somebody else's kid, you just feel let down, like they betrayed you. Okay, because again, we have here, like, somebody betrayed. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune upright. We got King of Pentacles. So I see this being about somebody who's loyal um, with possessions. Okay. So this could represent you after having come out of this transformation. Because you know you have some kind of inheritance. And it changes your way of life for the better. To get it, you know... You went through a hard time, but it, you came out better for it. And now you're this business person who's like the master of money. You're, you have a different lifestyle now. You know, you're very determined and successful. But, you know, you had to have a lot of life experience to um, get some uh, spiritual knowledge, too. This person also val values, you know, tradition things that are of quality and you just you're secure now beforehand you probably weren't as secure like with the king of cups in reverse and then king of pentacles there was some insecurity got inheritance possibly through a death but there was a change of life a family secret was revealed for those of you who there was a death some of you are just retiring um, then you have a good change of fortune you get successful and secure and again, like some of you had a really good retirement, okay? So you're successful, secure. You don't have to uh, do too much now. Following that, or following the Wheel of Fortune, we got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This tells me you don't have to work very hard anymore. Um, because this inheritance set you up. Again, you don't have to work hard because you've retired. Because Wheel of Fortune should be family fortune too. So we got inheritance, inheritance, family fortune. It could just be you're inheriting a fortune based on retirement. So this person could be, you know, not interested in working anymore because they're retired. They're not interested in working in the family business. That could be, you know, something going on with a secret. If you're not um, a blood member of the family, maybe they don't want you to be in the business anymore or anymore since you've got that money.
be. You don't have to work hard anymore. You could be a little uh, greedy and vain. And this, you know, this says, you know, embrace the changes, embrace the unpredictable. You had a lot of the changes and unpredictability happen, but you came out better for it, so just embrace it, whatever happened. And whatever you're doing, just keep doing it to be successful. Um, the time is right to change, okay? Clarifying that is the Queen of Cups. So here I see, you know, somebody who is not being a part of a work environment or a part of a family business or any kind of business. And here you have the Queen of Cups, and she's known for her isolation. So again, you're apart from uh, a family, apart from a group of some sort, some kind of organization. And you're just listening to your inner voice. I mean, that's the only thing I see with her is like isolation from a group. She's just concentrating on herself. She may be concentrating on her emotions too. Because I mean, you're probably still reeling from if there was a death or not. But I mean, I see auto accident. Like the cherry is a vehicle that's broken down. They got the Ten of Swords and death. I mean, we got a wheel, a wheel of fortune that's, you know, turned around. So. Something's not moving. There's a lot of stagnation or a broken down of something, breaking down of something. All right, and then on the bottom of the card, got the emperor in reverse. So this tells me you're no longer working. For those of you who are retired, congratulations. You no longer have to be the boss anymore. You no longer have to control anything. Um, you know, he's really, you know, traditional. He likes value and quality and tradition, just like the king of pentacles almost, okay? But here it's like, yeah, I don't really care about that business. I don't want to work hard anymore. So we have two not working hard cards or not working cards. And the reason some of you don't have to work hard is because you got so much inheritance and family fortune. No need. You don't have to. That's good. It means you're probably filthy, sneaking rich. Um, so I don't know why you'd be watching this video. <laughs> um, but also... Due to whatever happened, this is, you're going to be expected to, like, have a different way of being, a different behavior, a different mindset or something. Um, like, you're going to have to carry yourself differently. It's expected of you now. So for some of you, the dark secret could be that, you know, you were somebody's love child and you got the inheritance. You were blood, but nobody knew about you. And then you were like the inherited child. You got the inheritance and you're successful. You don't have to be in the family business. Maybe nobody wants you there. Um, and so you're good. And this downtime, whatever you're having, it's going to be a springboard because you go from bad luck to good luck. I definitely see that with these three. There's a springboard, whatever it is. Um, hmm. Somebody could be a little childish when this is in reverse. And also it just says, you know, you're going to allow things to unfold naturally. Here we have like control everything. Here, nah, I'm just going to relax. I don't have to worry about money. I don't have to worry about business. I could just sit on my throne. Possibly the thrown in my bathroom, you know, because I don't have to do anything if I don't want to. Um, this also could be talking about lacking some wisdom. Um, you've been kept in the dark about something. And so people are disrespecting or dishonoring you. So if you were like a, a love child, and you got this inheritance, people, the family's not respecting you anymore uh, because of this. And so you're, you're out of the family business. You don't, you're not getting, going to be a part of it. And basically when this is in reverse, it just says you surrender to what's going on or resist it. Those are your choices. Because you can't really avoid it. But here we have, you know, like lack of structure, chaos. Again, like over here we have the chaos and change. Here we, we still have it. 
Um, Cause here he's very stable and secure and structured and here it's not. And here with the death card, you know, normally this is anarchy and order. But it's almost like anarchy and anarchy. <laughs> you know, needs and logic. Like needs and illogical. Same, there may be some illogical needs going on. Uh, democracy, hierarchy, democracy, democracy. Basically, I just see prosperity without stagnation. Like, there was some stagnation before, probably, in your finances. Like, you were so poor, you didn't even have a car. And then you got hit with this lucky break. Some kind of inheritance. Maybe a windfall, a lottery, perhaps. And you get isolated from people. And so you're just, you're prosperous, and there's no stagnating anymore. And you're just very peaceful. There's no more tyranny. Because here, he's a little bit tyrannical. Not here, though. Okay. So life is just peaceful. Like, death is peaceful. No more tyranny, okay? Again, also, this could represent the person who passed as they're on in years. And so is this person. Um, and the King of Cups is clarifying that. So the person who passed could have been a pretty bad person. I'm not saying they are, but it's a possibility for some people. And then here, if we have a tyrant, and not anymore, if he has passed, this would be symbolized as him not being here anymore. So there's no more tyranny going on. It's peaceful. Good is also symbolized, you know, you're no longer the boss of things. You're no longer in the family business. You're retired. You're not working anymore. Um, <clears throat> it could be, this could just be a good investment. Some of you had a really good investment that came along. And you got really stinking rich and uh, you don't have to work anymore. And it was, it was very sudden too because it, like, it stopped you in your tracks. It was almost like overnight you got this inheritance. Or you will get it. I think it's already happening. And you know, when you get rich, you are expected to act differently. That's just how it works. Hmm. Ten of Swords talks about like obsessive thoughts, thinking about something over and over and over and over again and not being able to stop. And then with the chariot, it's like you don't know if it's going to pay off whatever investment you made um, or you're worried that whatever investment you did make, you can't stop thinking about it because you're so worried. And just you're not, not moving on or you're not over something with these two combined. Not moving on, not over something. It's probably this family secret or this death or... Maybe you were just thinking about retiring and you couldn't move on from it, so you finally made a change and you retired. All right, clarifying the Emperor in Reverse, got Nine of Pentacles. This is a card about culmination, celebrating accomplishments. So I'm really sure some of you out there retired. Talks about luxury, okay? But with the Reverse King of Cups, it talks about there's a possible deception. So yes, there's a family secret out there. Um... For some of you out there. Some of you just retired. Normal. Congratulations. Good job. <laughs> but you've reached some kind of a goal and it's protecting you from your troubles. And you're, you've are you reached a lot of money so you no longer have to worry about money anymore. You don't even have to work. You're just enjoying the good life. But you're also grateful. You're independent. You're self-sufficient. I mean, yes, you inherited something, but you're, you're probably invested it. And it's working, it's paying off for you. You're, you're very independent. You just have freedom to be yourself now. You're very self-reliant. But it says, you know, you're going to have to be diplomatic. Like here, there's no diplomacy. Here, you, you need to be. You don't have any setbacks or losses. This is great. Um, hmm. 
with the death card, I didn't notice this, with the death card, I just thought about that, talks about the end of an investment, like especially like in work, um, it's the end of worry, don't have to worry about money anymore. Hmm, I like that. Just celebrate, you know, you've made it. You don't have to work. Now earlier, when I pulled up the Emperor to show you, I hate doing that because I always see the next card. And there's a Magician in Reverse. So it may have nothing to do with the reading, but because I saw it, I, uh, I want to think about it for a second. Okay, as far as the deception and the secret, somebody was false, somebody defrauded somebody. Hopefully you didn't get money by an, a dishonest means. I don't see that. Um, see, this indicates not being in charge of your reality. And sometimes, you know, this can mean that too, not being in charge. But with all this inheritance, you know, why aren't you in charge of your reality? Because you're Nine of Pentacles, you're living the good life. It's good to be you don't feel good about yourself, you're lacking self-esteem. People maybe, oh, maybe people aren't taking you seriously. Because like you're like an expert in your field, but you're not working anymore, so maybe people aren't taking you seriously. Yeah, something's just confusing. And you feel like it's uncontrollable. See, again, we have chaos. But clarifying that, remember, clarifying it, we have nine of pentacles. So everything's going to turn out all right. You're going to be self-reliant. You're going to be fine. Let's pull an overall clarifier for the entire reading. You could have taken the family business in a non-traditional way and nobody likes that. I wasn't planning on pulling another card, but I want to mix these up a little bit. Like I told you, this is the weirdest reading. There's like, I don't see any love in here. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I could probably like try to force it, but it's just not, it's not standing out. It's not coming to me. To me. Usually if it doesn't come to me, that means it's not for that. saying everything I just said. You want to know what it is? Sure you want to know? Okay. Eight of Swords in Reverse. You're no longer a victim of something, but there was a fatality. Um, there was an accident. And there could still be some um, opposition, but basically somebody is being released from something. If somebody was a fraud and, you know, got money, or maybe you were taken in some kind of a fraud scandal, because maybe somebody deceived you, you had an investment, it stopped you in your tracks, you had bad luck, you know, you uh, lost some money for some of you. Man, that sucks. Um, but then it came around, you became self-reliant again. Um, may have worked really hard, but not seeing any gains, and you felt isolated. But then you end up okay. See, with the Hierophant, I mean, not the Hierophant, with the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Cups, this says somebody takes you away from danger. I could see that. So some of you may get um, saved from a car accident. Some of you may get taken away from money troubles. Like maybe you were on the verge of going to jail and somebody bailed you out. You know, they gave you some money to help you out.
But see, here, you know, this would be bad news, and you don't have that, so there's good news. Yeah. You're not bound anymore. But see, this here would be bankruptcy, so somebody might have saved you from bankruptcy. Okay, maybe that was it. All right, guys, um, hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, sorry it wasn't a love reading. It just didn't come out. All right, be happy.